Sample Size in Reliability Part 1 Welcome to Institute of Quality and Reliability. Hi, this is Heyman. In case viewers are not familiar with binomial distribution, we recommend that you please watch our video on binomial distribution before watching this video. One of the most frequent questions asked in my reliability training programs is, what sample size should we use in testing? That's a good question. The first option that we have to determine the sample size in reliability testing is using success run theorem or sometimes called success testing. Attribute data tests can be used to estimate minimum reliability at given confidence level for one shot devices. So this success testing or success run theorem is most commonly used for one shot devices like missiles, firing of guns or other one shot devices. This can be considered as success testing. Minimum reliability RC at specified confidence level C can be estimated using the following formula. What is the formula? RC equals 1 minus confidence level C raised to the power 1 upon N where N is the sample size. And the sample size to demonstrate minimum reliability RC at specified confidence level can be estimated using the following formula. Now we look at the sample size n and that equals natural logarithm of 1 minus c that is ln 1 minus c upon ln rc. 1 minus confidence level c is sometimes called the alpha risk or type 1 error. So we can also write this equation as ln alpha upon ln rc. Note that 1 minus confidence level C equals alpha. Consider an example of an airbag used in automobiles. In case of an accidental crash, the airbag must deploy or inflate within few milliseconds so that it provides a cushion between the driver and the steering wheel. What is the minimum reliability demonstrated at 90% confidence level if an airbag manufacturer has tested 20 samples successfully? So all 20 samples have successfully completed the functional test of deployment. Our formula is RC equals 1 minus confidence level C raised to the power 1 upon N. N is 20 here and confidence level is 90% or 0.9. So we write the equation 1 minus 0 0.9 raised to the power 1 upon 20 and that equals 0 0.891. In the same example of airbag, what sample size is required to demonstrate minimum reliability of 95% at 90% confidence level? Now we use the formula for sample size n and that equals ln 1 minus c upon ln rc and that would be ln of 1 minus 0 0.9 upon ln 0 0.95 which can be easily calculated as 44.89. We must round off to the next integer to get a sample size of 45. You can also use template from Institute of Quality and Reliability. I will show you how to download this template and how to use the template. This is the website of Institute of Quality and Reliability www.world-class-quality.com and you will see different links about us, services, training calendar, certification, others, contact us, etc. User registrations and on the upper side of the website, you will see the downloads. So click on the downloads to see various available files for downloading, guidelines for project selection for Six Sigma, about IQR, IQR Excel data files, then there are various distribution tables available and the last one here is reliability templates click on the uh, icon there to download 
and you can open the template and see the template as shown here and you can start using the template right across. This is the template from Institute of Quality and Reliability for success run theorem and also to find out reliability for a given sample size. So let us substitute a value of confidence level as 90% and sample size as 20 as uh, given in this problem statement. So we get reliability of 89.1%. What happens if we increase the sample size to 25 you can see that it becomes 91 point some percent you can go on increasing to check at what sample size we get reliability of about 95 percent so that's about 45 you don't need to work like this you also have a choice of uh, finding out the sample size directly so on the left side of the template, you can put a confidence level of 90 and reliability of 95 to get a sample size of 44.89. You need to round up to the next integer and that is 45. Well, success run theorem is a good way to find sample size when there are no failures. But often we get failures. So what should we do if we get few failures instead of all successes? Consider in previous example of airbags, how many bags company should test to demonstrate reliability of 95% at 90% confidence level if they have experienced one failure. First, we use a template on website reliability analytics toolkit. Link is shown here. And then we will show how to use a template from Institute of Quality and Reliability which uses a chi-square distribution. So we go to this website, Reliability Analytics Toolkit. You will find many more useful templates and uh, reliability related uh, calculation procedures on this website. But we want to find out sample size for a given reliability. So we search for the template of sample size. So we go to the search window or search option and we uh, specify sample size and we get the link to that we can click on the link and find out the procedure so this is the procedure the top uh, portion shows method 1 sample size calculator binomial reliability demonstration test which is the procedure and below that you will find the details of method 1 and the formula. The formula is 1 minus confidence level is equal to summation of uh, number of failures is equal to 1, 0 to F NCI 1 minus R in raised to the power I and R raised to the power N minus I. Where F is the allowed number of failures. So we scroll down to find the template which is there for method 1. So in this table we use the number of allowable test failures as 1, reliability requirement as 0.95, test confidence level as 90% which is the default value, you could change it but we will keep the default value of 90% and generate test options table. The software will generate more test options than what we have requested. So it gives a sample size of 77 for one failure. And below that you will find a table that gives you more options. For zero failures you need 45 sample size, for one failure 77, for two failures uh, 105, for three failures 132 and for four failures 158 etc. Alternately we can use the template provided by Institute of Quality and Reliability for Success Run Theorem. We have shown this earlier. But now we use the other worksheet of this, that is sample size binomial. So select the template uh, worksheet sample size binomial. It shows the formula, it's a formula with chi-square distribution. So in the confidence level, insert uh, 90%, reliability requirement 95 and number of failures 1. So you immediately see a sample size of 78. This is the upper part of the template, but you could also see reliability if a sample size is given, there also you can see what happens if you insert a sample size of 77 with confidence level of 90 and number of failures is 1. 
you could immediately see that the reliability is 94.9 so you have to increase it to the next one that is 78 so you need a sample size of 78 thanks for watching this video hope you found it worth watching please subscribe to institute of quality and reliability channel if you want to watch more videos on reliability engineering six sigma and statistical quality control click on the subscribe and bell icon to get notified for future videos